Hello there. Today, I'd like to take you on a relaxing journey into a winter sleep story. A calming and magical visualisation into a beautiful winter landscape that is designed to help you rest deeply and gently fall asleep. This is the first ASMR video I've made in a long while. But as we're entering into the winter season, which is, I think, a very special time of the year, with Christmas and the winter solstice, I thought I would make this video as a thank you gift for everyone who continues to subscribe and support this channel and to help you settle into and really enjoy this deepest, darkest time of the year. So, let's begin by settling down and getting really comfortable and ready to relax. There are no images to accompany this video, so you can just close your eyes, unwind, and let my voice guide you. Let's start by taking in some nice, easy, gentle breaths. Breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the mouth. Drop your breath down, low into your body. And as you breathe in, have the sense of every cell in your body being refreshed and reoxygenated by that new inhalation. And then, as you exhale, let go of your body. Let go completely. Soften every muscle, every limb, every corner of yourself that might be holding tension. Just release and soften through your whole body. Your feet, your legs, your pelvis, your stomach, your chest, your back, your shoulders, your neck, and your face. Let everything go. Let everything unwind and enjoy the delicious sensation of softening and relaxing even more deeply as you settle into a blissful state of rest. Now, let's begin our deep midwinter journey. In your mind's eye, imagine that you're outside, walking along a woodland path, on a crisp and clear early evening in winter. The path is wide and well made, so walking along it is easy, and the wood around you is a friendly place, full of beautiful, ancient English oaks, graceful horse chestnuts, magnificent beeches, and every now and again, a rowan tree, still bearing the last of its brilliant red berries. Every branch of every tree is covered in a thick frost, and every twig is adorned with a shining icicle. Above your head, the sky is a deep purple. Dusk is settling in, and it's really not that late yet. But because we are in the Northern Hemisphere, in this deep midwinter season, the light is fading early. We are approaching the darkest time of the year. A time of change. A time of long nights. But also a time when the light shines most brightly and the cold air is full of possibilities. As you continue to walk, you come to a clearing in the trees, and you look out 
over a beautiful landscape of low, gentle hills and fields, framed by hedgerows, and studded here and there with small copses of trees. In the summertime, this scene would be green and lush. The trees would be covered in glossy leaves, and the hedgerows would be full of songbirds singing to the sun. However, we are not in summer. We are in the deep midwinter, when everything is cold and clear and still. The birds have already gone to sleep. The animals are tucked up in their burrows. Mr. Blackbird is asleep on his branch. Mrs. Squirrel is curled up in her tree hollow. Even the nocturnal creatures are quiet. The owls are silent, and the badgers aren't busy foraging in the woods tonight, as they usually would be, because even the animals know that this evening is special. Everything is still. Everything is silent. And every living thing is responding to this moment of deep, Midwinter peace. As you look out over the hills and fields, you are amazed by this silence, the soft tranquility of this serene landscape. The sky is still purple, with a paler streak of lilac near the horizon that shows where the sun has recently set. But higher up in the sky, the night grows darker, and the purple fades to a deep, rich shade of blue, as twilight settles over the earth. You breathe in the cold, clear air. You don't feel cold, because you're snugly wrapped up in layers, with a thick, warm coat, a cosy hat, and a scarf and mittens. Nevertheless, as you breathe in the cold winter air, you feel rejuvenated by this winter chill. And when you look up, high above your head, into the depths of that rich blue twilight, you see the first star appear in the sky. Look up at it. It's so beautiful. Clear and shimmering. You feel a soft thrill pass through you as you gaze at this star, this pinprick of silver that is so far away, yet in this moment seems so near in the clear winter night. The star is full of brilliance, and you can almost imagine that you can hear it singing to you. As it twinkles, you seem to hear a deep winter song, full of enchantment and wonder. Then, a second star appears in the sky, then a third, then a fourth, and in another moment, the sky above you is full of shimmering stars, gleaming in the dark winter sky. Then, close by, you hear a soft rustle, and looking down, you see the dark outline of a hare, who is scampering across the fields to get home. Good evening, Mr. Hare, you say silently to yourself, but he doesn't turn to greet you. Instead, he disappears into the growing darkness, and you think you've seen the last of him. But then, in another moment, the moon appears and illuminates the fields. Clever moon. It's been in hiding behind a small cloud, quite close to the horizon, but has now decided to reveal itself in all its radiant majesty, to light up the world below in shimmering shades of silver. The moon is huge and full, 
gleaming and luminous. And by its calm light, you see the silhouette of the hare once again as he continues on his journey across the fields into the hedgerow that he's made his home. You notice how the light from the winter moon is making everything glitter. The frosty ground beneath your feet, the icicles that are hanging in every tree. Everything sparkles with a special light that appears only on a deep midwinter's night. When all is calm and all is bright. There is magic in the air, a sense of promise, and you feel that you yourself are part of this magic, too. That the stars above are singing to you, and the luminous moon is welcoming you as a friend. This crisp, clear landscape, so beautiful and so calm, is a part of you, and you are a part of the landscape and everything is in sparkling harmony, above and below. You turn your face to look more fully at the moon, and at that moment, the stars, whose song was so gentle before that you might have supposed you had imagined it, begin to sing more loudly. A strong, clear, sweet harmony shimmers out from them, and you begin to feel that you are singing too, even though no sound is coming from your lips. The song is coming from inside you, as though every cell in your body has been lit up and is calling back to the stars, singing with joy about the beauty and enchantment of this lovely winter night, lit up in frosted silver. The stars are no longer singing, but you can still feel that sense of magic in the air, and as you take in a deep, cold breath, very softly, very gently, it begins to snow. Snowflakes are floating down, large and soft, and gentle. Soon the ground is covered in shimmering white, and the crisp clarity of the early evening gives way to a deeper, more muffled silence. Every snowflake, illuminated by the moon, glimmers brightly like a tiny crystal falling to earth, or perhaps a tiny star. Mr. Hare will be snug in his hedgerow by now, and you know it's time for you, too, to continue on your journey. So you turn away from the hills and the fields, and walk back along your woodland path, each step crunching softly now, through a layer of bright snow. The icicle-laden trees that line your path now seem to be a row of woodland guardians who are attending you safely as you make your way home. After another few minutes of walking, the path widens out, and you find yourself in a village full of old stone cottages, each one twinkling with lights that shine out through their windows. You enter in through the wooden gate of one house and walk through a beautiful garden that is laid out neatly with flower beds, miniature fruit trees, and bushes that are clipped into whimsical topiary spheres. In the summer, this garden would be full of flowers, roses, hollyhocks, and lavenders all blooming during the day, and night jasmine releasing its sweet scent after sunset. But we are not in summer. We are in the deep midwinter, when everything is cold and clear and still. And now the garden looks as though it has fallen gently asleep, 
under a soft blanket of snow. Up ahead, at the far end of the garden, the path leads up to the front door of the cottage. The walls are covered with ivy, and a large wreath of holly hangs on the front door. As you reach it, the door swings open in welcome, and you step inside, allowing the warmth of the house to wash over you. This place feels so familiar, because this place is home, and you realise that, as soon as you stepped over the threshold of the front door, you are magically transported back to your very own room and your very own bed, where the covers are warm and sleep is beckoning to you with a friendly hand. Every other creature has already gone to sleep. Mr. Hare is in his hedgerow. Mrs. Squirrel is in her tree hollow. Mr. Blackbird is on his branch. And now, it's time for you to nestle and say good night to the moon, the stars, and the winter evening. Breathe deeply. Rest sweetly and gently. Begin to fall asleep. Good night. <laughs>